covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. The UK government has announced that drones will be used to carry medical supplies from Hampshire to the Isle of Wight. A planned trial of the technology began this week. In March, the government announced funding for drone tests and a new air traffic control system. But Grant Shapps, Secretary of State for Transport, said there was an urgent need for the trial to begin sooner than planned. Ferry crossings to the Isle of Wight are currently reduced due to the spread of COVID-19. An unmanned aerial vehicle can make the crossing to the Isle of Wight in about 10 minutes. The government expects about four flights per day to be made, depending on the needs of the United Kingdom National Health Service. A spokeswoman told the BBC that the first flights would carry personal protective equipment. However, in future, the drone could deliver the time-critical supplies such as blood and organs. The trial will use a gasoline-fueled Wind Racer's ultra-fixed-wing drone capable of carrying a 100-kilogram payload for up to 1,000 kilometers. The Department for Transport said the drone would fly autonomously along a fixed route between Lee on the Solent in Hampshire and Binstead on the Isle of Wight. Two safety pilots, one at each airfield, will oversee each flight. A spokeswoman told the BBC that the flight would take around 10 minutes, significantly reducing de delivery times between the Isle of Wight and mainland. After goods have been dropped off at the airfield, they will be delivered to St. Mary's Hospital on the Isle of Wight by road. Because this is all happening so, happening so quickly, an unmanned traffic management system cannot be put in place in time, though it will be pursued for the long term. So for now, rather than integrating the drone with regular air traffic, a temporary danger area is being set up for 90 days to separate the drone from other aircraft.